Hi, it's Mike Buller with the Link Local Network. Link locally, connect globally. We're here at Chicago Tribune, or actually Trib Local offices in Westchester, mm -hmm. Illinois. We're visiting with Kara Silva. Kara, we're working on the third of a four-part series here about how uh, individuals, organizations, businesses, nonprofits can get published mm -hmm. in the Trib Local. Exactly. And the last or second session, what were those two tips? Uh, I did two tips on grammar and how it's important to include the town name that you're writing with your business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go forward. What's All next? Right. Uh, actually, I covered this a little bit, but uh, going back to the inverted pyramid I was talking about when you're doing storytelling, uh, this is the five W's. This is the five questions that you want to make sure you answer in all of your stories. The five W's. Right. I'm pretty sure you can guess what those are. Um, it's the who, the what, the when, the where, and the why. And if, as long as you have those questions answered, you won't be getting a call from me asking you additional questions, and it'll be a lot more easier for me to uh, publish it in print and get it online. So. How often does do some, does someone do that, whether it's um, a company or an individual? Depending, to be completely honest, depending on the time that I have to go through all of the submissions we get, if there's too much information missing from a post, I have to sometimes just completely disregard it. So the five W's, guys, it's important. <laughs> Make sure you get those five and W's covered. You'll be skyrocketed to the top of the list as far as priority and getting something in print. Either so. that or Kara's going to have to catch you out. Yep. <laughs> all right, what's the next one? Uh, the next one is, um, we talked about this a little bit, but just make sure it's not too long, your post. We have a lot of times where your business is great, your nonprofit is great, you're doing great things in the community, uh, but you don't want to talk too much about that. Try and keep it on topic to what you, the story is really about. It's great that you won that award last year for you know being maybe the most respected in the community for something great you did or a donation you made, but that doesn't really have a lot to do with what you're talking about in the moment. Um, as far as fundraisers go, that, that, those kind of stories we love. We want those stories to get in there. But just try not to, try to make it as objective, as objective as you possibly can. And we talked about 500 words is just too long. And again, the more I scroll down, the least likely I'm going to get anything out of it. So. Does it make any difference with the paragraph breaks, how many words are... Uh, no, that doesn't, that doesn't go, that doesn't matter. How many enters you have, returns you have does not matter. Word count, it doesn't affect it, so. All right. Yeah. Here we have, we've had expert advice from Kara Silva. So, if you want to get published in the Trib Local, or also to be online, right? Mm -hmm. It's not yeah. a guarantee that you get to be online right. whenever you submit something. Right. Well, it's searchable, so if you wanted to, you can still email out the link once you post something, but when we highlight it, that's what, when you go to the actual page, that's what comes up on that page. Otherwise, if we don't highlight it, you got to do some digging to find it. But it's there. It's always there. All right. You want to get your information out? Listen to Kara. Kara, thanks for chatting Thank with you. us. Thank you. All right. We're at the Trib, or Chicago Trib, no, it's the Trib Local Offices in Westchester, Illinois, visiting. <laughs> With Kara Silva, she did a great job explaining it. It's Mike Bowler for Link Local Network. Link locally, connect globally.